guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about your frequently asked questions about teaching textbooks. I have been talking about teaching textbooks math curriculum for years now and we have loved it ever since my kids were in third grade. But I have many people who I don't know different things like who is it for? What devices is it compatible with? Do you need internet? What do you do if your kids are struggling with multiplication? That and so much more we're going to talk about here on this video. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Katie and welcome to Life in the Mundane. I am a second generation homeschool mom of six beautiful kiddos and on this channel we talk all things resources. I love to share with you resources that are going to help you in your homeschooling and help encourage you in your biblical parenting and how you can utilize those to their fullest potential so that you can make the most of the little moments. So of course the first question is what is teaching textbooks? If you are completely unfamiliar with teaching textbooks, be sure to check out a video I've already done about the top 10 things you need to know about teaching textbooks. I will link it up in the iCards and down in the description below. In a nutshell, it is a computer-based curriculum that will not only teach your children their math, it will grade it for them, it will give them hints and helps, and it is an amazing tool that will actually make doing math more doable for you and your family. But what grades does it cover? Well, it starts at third grade math and goes all the way through high school. So you can use it with your children from third grade and up. Before third grade, you can use whatever math curriculum you prefer just to kind of lay out the foundation, but then you can move them right into that. And for our family, it is always a big rite of passage when they're old enough to move into teaching textbooks. So what devices can you use teaching textbooks on? The answer is almost all of them. You can use it on, on desktops, on laptops, on Chromebooks, on phones, on tablets. My kids tend to use it on all of those. I love the fact that it is app-based, so you can actually jump from device to device. If your child needs to do it on the desktop on one day and do it on the computer the next, they can do that as long as the app is installed on all of those devices. You'll log into the app and the lessons will be downloaded, about six lessons at a time that your child then can access offline, which makes it perfect for taking it on the go and it makes the experience so much better when we don't have to be tied to the internet to use it. Now, not all devices are created equally, so while you can use it on your phone, I would not recommend a phone as your primary learning device. I would just recommend that more for if you really need something on the go or in a pinch, just because the screens tend to be a little bit smaller, so it makes it a little harder to type in the numbers as well as to use the Scratchpad feature. The Scratchpad feature is a really neat tool that your child can use to work out their problems on their device and not having to use scrap paper. My kids use this beautifully on their Chromebooks because they're touch screen and on their tablets. But if you're just using a regular desktop, you may or may not find that particular aspect of the program helpful. So it just kind of depends on what device you want to use. I think my favorite so far has definitely been the tablets and the Chromebooks, um, but you can use it on any of those devices. Is the program truly hands off? Does the teacher really need to do anything? Well, the answer is yes and no. So for all of the teaching, it is all done by the computer through interactive, engaging, video-based lessons. Yes, all of that is done there. They even have a teacher's guide. If you need to reference something that you want to look at, you can do that, but it's gonna do all the teaching for you. It's also gonna give hints to your child when they need it, and it's gonna do all the grading. So all of that part is completely hands-off, but, your kids are kids and from time to time they're going to need some help. So do you occasionally need help? Absolutely. But what we do is I have all of my kids complete the lesson and I have them try everything. It will give them the opportunity to try a question twice unless it is multiple choice or something that can only, you know, would be obvious, true or false if it were answered a second time. It'll give them an option to answer it twice. And so I have all of my kids go through and try everything. And then anything they have trouble with at the end, I'll go around from child to child and make sure I help with. It's usually only a couple of problems, right? Yeah, of course, we've got to cover my favorite question. Is teaching textbooks really enough? Is it below grade level? I get this question all the time. And here I'm to tell you that yes, it absolutely is enough. Now, every curriculum is different. Every curriculum teaches at different places. Some curriculums tend to teach a little above grade level, some introduce things below or at, and some just introduce different concepts at different times. So it really has nothing to do with grade level. Because of that, and because of the fact that you're automatically gonna be going into teaching textbooks coming from something else, whether you're starting in third grade or whether you're starting in the middle of the curriculum, I highly recommend you take the online placement test. If your child is placing at a fifth grade level in fourth grade, 
don't worry about it. Just put them in the fifth grade level because that's the thing about homeschooling that is so beautiful is that you get the ability to place your child where they're at instead of being trapped by these grade levels. They only put them there just for you to have a general reference, but don't just assume your child is in one level because their grade matches that level number. I'm a second generation homeschooler and most of my siblings, my mom didn't find teaching textbooks till after I graduated, which I am very disappointed about, honestly. Um, I really think I would have done well with the program, but she found it for many of my other siblings. They all went on to graduate with zero issues. They all went on to take at least some college courses or complete a college degree with zero problems. And they've all done great with math in the future and with life. And they took teaching textbooks all the way through from third grade on. Another question that I have gotten a lot more in the past year that I have typically is what if your child needs additional help or practice when it comes to a particular topic? Maybe it's multiplication or division, but I typically find with multiplication tables, some people are saying that their kids are struggling. They need a little more practice than what is involved in the lesson. And here's the beautiful thing. Teaching textbooks is very devoted to having short and sweet lessons. So it is not overwhelming, but they do a great job of review. So concepts will come up and be reviewed reviewed constantly, which is great. But if your child needs additional review, then don't hesitate getting that additional review. We've used the uh, free online program, Extra Math, and it's just a multiplication quizzing course, um, totally free that you can use, or they have an app for like $5. And you can just use that to work on your kids. And it's about five to 10 minutes a day. And my kids will do that after they do their teaching textbooks to just give them a little extra practice on their multiplication tables. Or you can do good old fashioned flashcards, or don't be afraid also to give your child, if they are still struggling, some helpful tools like a multiplication chart that they can utilize during their lessons and then continue to work on the actual memorization of the facts if they don't have that down yet by the time they start the third grade level. Is teaching textbooks a subscription service? And how long do I have access to it for? No, it is not a subscription service. That is not the case at all here. Typically with a subscription service, you are going to have a reoccurring billing. Um, it's gonna auto renew for you and you're gonna have access for as long as you have that subscription. That's not the way this works. You are just purchasing an online curriculum for the year. You pay a one-time fee that is super affordable. It is based depending on which level of math you are getting. So there's sort of a tiered system with that, which you can check out down at the link below. And then they also have discounts for large families. So be sure to check out all that information on their website, but you'll pay that price and then you'll have access to the program for 12 months. What I love about it though, is it's 12 months from the date that you set as the start date. You can purchase it today and say, you don't want to start the program till a month from now. And that 12 months will then start from that period on. So I love the fact they thought about that. They do have the ability to pause the program for a few weeks. Again, I'll drop all the details down below for you guys, but think about it as a 12 month period. I really appreciate this because we school year round instead of like nine or 10 months out of the year, like the traditional school year. So this allows us the freedom and flexibility to drag it out all year long and we don't have to feel rushed at any point. If this video has piqued your interest, be sure to go check out their free trial that they have on their program. You can try out the first 15 lessons of any of the different levels of math for you and your child completely free without entering any credit card information in. So you guys can check it out and see if it's something you would like to do for yourself. So I hope that has answered all of your questions about teaching textbooks. It really is a phenomenal program. I can't recommend it enough. Again, be sure to check out that 10 things you should know about teaching textbooks to find out more about the program and all of the amazing features that they offer because I have not even begun to discuss that here in this video. That video will give you a much more comprehensive view of that, but I wanted to answer you guys as frequently asked questions if you have additional questions, please drop them down in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up as we have lots more curriculum videos coming out over the next few months. And we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.